Hey gentlemen, ladies, how you doing? My name is Alan with the Contractor License School and today I want to share a video on how to get a boiler water heating and steam fitting license in 2024 or 2023, just backing you up a little bit. And uh, I want you to know, this is also known as the C4, not to be confused with the explosion, but you know, that's the C4 license. Now, I wanna take this and break it down into eight simple steps. And uh, by the way, in any moment, you can give us an email, give us a call, we'll walk you through some of these processes. But the first thing is, if you're determined to start your own business, do it, make it happen. Take massive action and complete the process and you will own your own business and be able to move forward making great money. The second thing is this, schooling. You gotta get a part of a good school. I think we're a pretty darn good school. You can jump in. We offer three scenarios in class, live stream where we broadcast the live the class live to your device and uh, that way you don't have to spend all that gas money to come in. Um, and you can still talk to the teacher, stay after class within the Zoom conference and uh, we'll walk you through that process. And finally the third, is homeschool. Each one is a little bit different price, so go to our website, click on info, scroll down, and ha go to town looking at all those kinds of things. Now, the other thing is this, once you complete the schooling, we're gonna help you out with that application process. That application is a little over 30 pages. Uh, it could be quite daunting, but you don't have to worry about that. Why? Because we've been doing this for so long, we could do it in our sleep. We gather the right information, help you fill that out, make sure all the I's and T's are dotted and crossed, and we send it off to the state. Once the state gets it, it. They're going to process it for about a month and a half, two months. You're going to get an email and in that email then after it's been processed, they're going to send you a link that you click on to the PSI um, test taking facility and from there you schedule your uh, test or your state exams. It will not be able to be done on the computer. Now, here's the thing. If you pass my exams, which are on the computer, you have access 24 seven, you're gonna pass the state exams. But if you wanna break them up, so you do one test one day and one test another, that works out because you're gonna have to take two three and a half hour exams, okay? So that's what you need to know there. Now, after you go to the state testing exam center, after you filled out the application, which is number four, you're gonna go there, you're gonna pass your test, you're gonna walk through that process. Don't run out there all excited and just forget to grab the package you're gonna need. Make sure you stop at the clerk. You're gonna go, you're gonna get a live scan and a bond. You can do those once you've been accepted or you can do that after you get the packet after passing the test. So you're gonna bring that packet to us, which is number six. We're gonna help you complete. Uh, the completion packet, you're gonna go through your uh, workers comp disclosures, your general liability disclosures, make sure we have the live scan done and in order and the bond. By the way, you can go to our website right there, www.contractorlicenseschool.com, click on services, scroll down to insurance, purchase that, and it's super simple. Now, you have to meet requirements. What are they? There's three of them. You have to be over 18, you have to have four years of experience, and you have to have a valid social security or I-10. If you don't have either the I-10 or social, go to the irs.gov website, and you can get the one and a half page piece of paper, fill it out, send that in, they'll send you your I-10 number, we can help you get your contractor's license. If for some reason you don't meet the four year requirements, college education and or apprenticeship program will help remove some of those years. And if you don't have that, there's also another way and that's with our RMO program where you use a licensed contractor's license within your corporation. They become what's known as a responsible managing officer. We'll walk you through that. Check out the description below. By the way, if you're gonna make it happen, make sure, click our like button, hit the subscribe button. And I wanna leave you with this final thing and that's this, live free and thrive. Hey, once you start your own business, you have the opportunity to make as much money as you want, to grow that business, to set your own schedule, to be free, to be your own boss. We wanna guide you through that. And, and, and that said, our motto is this, our passion is your success. What does that mean? We don't wanna just have you come to our school and then you're done. We wanna be a resource for you. We've done lots of projects when I was a contractor. We wanna guide you through growing and expanding your business. We also do web design, internet marketing, web partners for bookkeeping and taxes. We help lay out that financial foundation and the four quadrant for foundation for growing and expanding a business, getting your business entity, corporations, all that kind of stuff. Read the description below. We got some videos down there for you. Check them out. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button. This has been a video on how to get a boiler water heating and steam fitting license, the C4 license for 2023. My name's Alan, Contractor License School. Talk to you soon.